Morning all. What a beautiful morning. Nice and early, sun's just starting to come out down in town before it gets absolutely packed to the rafters. The standing room only. Feel that sun on my face, absolutely glorious. What a difference a bit of sun makes, eh? <laughs> Had a nice time out yesterday. My youngest daughter's here with me this weekend. She's come over, Lucy. She can drink that lass. <laughs> I don't know if she gets that off. <laughs> she felt a bit rough though. <laughs> oh man, getting a sweat on. Anyway, I got a tin of this to review. A tin, a tap tin, a plastic tin. It's called, what's it called? So I'll show you it again. Here you are, so you can see it. It's called JBR Snuff Red. Snuff Red. Not Red Snuff, Snuff Red. And it's, the JBR stands for J. Brumfit and Radford, established in London in 1860. So it talks about tradition, doesn't it? It talks about a long established old fashioned snuff names that, you know, go back to the, the mid 1800s and all of that type of stuff, but not reflected in the package. I think they've tried to give it a new, uh, a new look, a fresh look, bring it up to date and all of that type of stuff. I don't know whether this actual blend came from uh, J. Brumfit and Radford in 1860 or whenever, 1860, yeah, but uh, we'll find out, won't we? Anyway, uh, it's now made in uh, Germany, um, and uh, it's not made in London, and uh, <laughs> no surprise there, really. So I'm a bit confused with it, really. It's got all this established, this tradition, the old-fashioned name, 1860, but it's in this really new age, up-to-date packaging, which I guess in some respects is a good thing, you know? We can't all live in the past all of the time, I guess. So, yeah, hey-ho, we'll give it a go. Um, yeah, it looks very modern. It's 10 gram in here. Uh, the tap tin's on the top, as you can see. I'll show you. And I have to say, apart from the colour, which either you like it or you don't like it, um, yeah, the packing's not bad for a tap tin. I can hear it rattling in the tin, so it must be nearly full, but it's hard to tell with tins like this, isn't it? You know me, I like, I like to take a lid off and have a look at it and have a smell of it. And... Anyway, it's the brave new world. And I want to be part of the brave new world. So let's have a look. Oh, we can just about see the colour. Can I show you that? Are you going to get that? See if I can get a close-up. I don't know whether that's going to work or not, but it's a, it's a rusty brown colour. And you can get this huge huge scent of cherry sweet cherry yeah I, sweet cherry and you get a little bit of menthol going on there but predominantly the tin note is sweet cherry not bad not bad not bad you know i don't like uh, fruit snuffs very much but i'm hoping to like this one i have actually tried it i was uh, out for a pint with some of my mates last night and i have to say uh, four of them tried it and they absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Surprised me a bit and I think they loved it because normally what I've got in my pocket is a big hitting menthol. You know, and it, when you're not taking snuff all the time, it, it, it's a tendency to blow your socks off and get a bit, you know, poof. Uh, so this one was, uh, for them, was a nice halfway house. You know, you've got the sweet cherry scent and uh, you've got a little bit of menthol, but not loads of it. Let's see if I can show you this. So yeah, rusty brown in colour, it's a finish grind, there's plenty of moisture in it. Mm, nice, 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 let's get a go. I've got loads here. Front and nose. You just get that cherry, that sweet, sweet cherry. Whew. Menthol, yeah, you get it. Oh, just that loads of cherries. Full on is that. 
if you like cherry, <laughs> you like this. <laughs> and it, it actually smells like cherry. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't smell synthetic is what I'm looking for. I've got my snuff anky, I've got my snuff paddle. Not that's going to count for anything. Is there a boat coming in? There's a little boat. Is it my sister? I think it might be. Oh, yeah, I think it might be. Uh, Brother-in-law uh, uh, were out. Uh, he went to the pub on his bike yesterday, <laughs> and he was going off, going home, and he fell off, <laughs> broke two of his ribs. <laughs> Come with Lanoba if you've ever broken your ribs. My God, it's painful. Oh, it's painful, poor lad. So uh, he didn't come out last night, he was licking his wounds. They took him to Scarborough Hospital, but there's no you can do for broken ribs, is there? It's absolute agony. I broke him once when I was playing football. Not nice, not nice at all. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's got a burn to it. Let's have another go. It's got a burn, you get the menthol, but you get this intense cherry topping, this intense scent of cherry. As I say, if you like fruit snuffs, if you like cherry, you will adore this. Absolutely. Oh, the burn's good as well. Surprisingly, the burn's good. The menthol brings a little bit to the party. That's nice. Great burn. Decent vitamin N. But you just don't get the base flower. You just don't get it. All you get is sweet cherry and menthol. Forget the base flower because you don't get it. You don't. You can't smell it. And that's what I was saying in one of the other videos. These, you know, this has surprised me. For it's not a modern snuff, is it? It's going back to 1860. 1860 but you're not getting that base flower and the more and more reviews I'm doing I would so like to get that base flower then the toppings not just toppings I like the base flower to carry it all to pull it all together and then the toppings to bring that extra bit to the party you know but with this you don't get any of that base flower you just get sweet cherry and you get menthol if you like sweet cherry, if you like menthol, again, you'll love it. Do I love it? No, it's all right. Lads last night loved it, absolutely loved it. All four of them, best one they'd had. Um, and uh, what can I say to that? 10 gram tin, rusty brown, sweet cherry menthol. Don't get the base flower. Okay, vitamin N. Uh, <coughs> do we smell a tradition? No. I'd describe it as a new age snuff. That's what I'd describe it as. So that's it, chums. I've waffled on long enough. That's eight minutes. That's far too much. I'll see you all next time. You keep well. Cheers from Whitby. Chin chin. <laughs>